Oh, Mary. Mary. Robert De Niro, born on August 17, 1943 in New York City, is one of the most iconic actors in the history of cinema. Over his career spanning several decades, De Niro has showcased incredible versatility and delivered memorable performance in a wide range of roles. Let's explore the evolution of Robert De Niro and his contribution to the film industry. Early career and breakthrough, 1960 to 1970. Robert De Niro began his acting career in the 1960, appearing in op Broadway production and small film roles. He gained recognition for his collaboration with director Brian De Palma in movies like Greetings 1968 and Hi Mom 1970. However, it was his partnership with director Martin Scorsese that propelled him to stardom. In the 1970s, De Niro delivered powerful performance in a film such as Main Street 1973. All right, okay, thanks a lot, Lord. Thanks a lot for opening my eyes. Taxi Driver 1976. Well, who the hell else are you talking? Talking to me? And New York 1977. By a friend of mine, who is a great believer. Showcasing his intent, dedication to his craft. Number 2. Method Acting and Character Transformation 1980 The Nero's commitment to method acting became evident during the 1980s. He underwent physical transformation to immerse himself in his character, notably gaining weight to play the legendary boxer Jake LaMotta in Rising Bull 1980. He got out of line, I slapped him around. For which he won an Academy Award the Best Actor. De Niro continued to display his range in films like The King of Comedy 1982, Once Upon a Time in America 1984, and The Untouchable 1987. Sean Connery is Jimmy Malone. Number 3 Versatility and Commercial Success 1990 to 2000. In the 1990, De Niro showcased his versatility by tackling a variety of roles. He displayed his comedic talent in films like Midnight Run 1988, Meet the Parents 2000, and its sequel where he portrayed the hilariously overprotective Jack Barney. De Niro also collaborated with Scorsese again in movies such as Good Feelers 1990, Camp Fear 1991, and Casino 1995. Renonade directed and delivered notable performances in films like Heat 1995, Ronin 1998, and Silver Laning Playbook 2012. Number 4 Later Career and Legacy 2010 and Present In recent years, De Niro has remained an active presence in the film industry. He appeared in notable films such as The Irishman 2019, directed by Martin Scorsese, where he reunited with fellow acting legends A.I. Pacino and Joy Paskey. Nero has also taken on roles in comedy like The Intern 2015 and the action movie The War with Grandpa 2020. His contribution to cinema and his status as an acting icon continue to inspire younger generation of actors. Throughout his career, Robert De Niro has received critical acclaim winning two Academy Awards for Best Actor, Ragging Bull and The Godfather Part 2, and the Best Supporting Actor Award for The Godfather Part 2. He has also received numerous nominations and has been honored with various accolades, cementing his status as one of the greatest actors of all time. The Nero transformative performance and ability to bring complex characters to life have left an indelible mark on the history of cinema. Robert De Niro personal life has been subject of interest of many although he generally maintained a private and low-key presence outside of his acting career. Here are some aspects of his personal life. Number 1. Marriage and Relationship De Niro has been married twice. He married his first wife Dinah Abbott in 1976. 
They have a son named Rafael who is also an actor. De Niro also adopted Abbott's daughter Drena for a previous relationship. The couple divorced in 1988. In 1997, De Niro married his second wife, Grace Hightower, and they have two children together, a son named Elliot, a daughter named Helen. Grace Tumultoy's relationship filed for divorce multiple times. Their divorce was finalized in 2019. Number 2. Robert De Niro has six children in total. In addition to his biologically children with Diane Abbott and Grace Hightower, he has twin sons named Julian and Aaron, born by a surrogate in 1995. Julian is De Niro biological child while Aaron is the biological child of De Niro's then girlfriend, Turkey Smith. Number 3. Philanthropy and Political Involvement De Niro is known for his involvement in philanthropy activism and social causes. He co-founded the Tribeca Film Festival in 2000 to revitalize downtown Manhattan after the September 11 attack. He has also been an advocate for various political issues including LGBTQ as rights and environmental conversation. Number 4. Business Venture De Niro has ventured into the business world as well. He is a co-owner of the Nobu restaurant chain, which specializes in Japanese cuisine and has invested in several luxury hotels and properties. He has also expressed an interest in the hospitality and entertainment industry. The pipe. Legal issue. Like many public people, De Niro has uh, encountered some legal issue throughout his life. In 1998, he went through a highly publicized divorce and custody battle with the second wife, Grace Hightower. Additionally, in recent years, he has been involved in legal dispute with his former business partner over the finance of their production company. While Robert De Niro's personal life has been experienced, its share is ups and downs, he remains a respected and reborn actor in the film industry with a career and continue to inspire and captivate audience worldwide. Robert De Niro has had significant impact on the film industry and left behind a lasting legacy. Here are some key aspects of his impact and contribution. Number first, acting prowess and versatility. De Niro's talent and dedication as an actor are widely recognized. He is known for his immersive approach to role after undergoing physical transformation and in-depth character research. His ability to portray a wide range of characters, from intense and brooding individual to comedic figure, showcases his versatility as an actor. De Niro's commitment to his craft has set a high standard for acting and has influenced countless actors and aspiring performers. Number 2. Collaboration with Martin Scorsese De Niro collaborated with director Martin Scorsese is one of the most iconic and influential partnerships in cinematic history. Together, they create timeless films such as Taxi Driver, Ragging Bull, and Goodfellas. Their work together explores the gritty underbelly of society, delving into themes of violence, redemption, and the human psyche. The combination of Scorsese directional vision and the Nero transformative performances result in groundbreaking cinema that continue to resonate with audience. Number 3. Method Acting and Physical Transformation De Niro is renowned for commitment to method acting, a technique that involves immersive oneself in a character's emotion and experiences. He has often undergoing significant physical transformation for his role such as gaining weight for ragging bull or learning to play the saxophone for New York, New York, the Nero dedication to his craft and his willingness to push boundaries have set a standard for actors who seek to fully embody their characters. Memorable characters and iconic lines Throughout his career, De Niro has portrayed numerous memorable characters that have become part of cinematic history from Travis Bickley in Taxi Driver to Jack Lamotto in Ragging Bull and Jimmy Conway in Goodfellas. De Niro's performances have left an indelible mark on popular culture. His iconic lines such as You talking to me. From Taxi Driver, you become ingrained in the collective consciousness of movie girls. Number 5. Influence on Future Generation Robert De Niro's body of work and his commitment to excellence have influenced and inspired generation of actors. 
Many performers have cited him as a role model of and have aspired to emulate his dedication, versatility, and transformative acting style. His impact can be seen in the work of actors who have followed in his footprints, counting to push boundaries and deliver powerful performers. Overall, Robert De Niro impact and legacy can be felt in the he has elevated the art of acting, his collaboration estimate director with memorable character and his enduring influence on future generation of actors. His contribution have solidified his status as one of the greatest actors in the history of cinema. Robert De Niro has appeared in numerous critical acclaim and commercially successful films throughout his career. Here are 10 of his most famous movies which have garnered worldwide recognition. First, The Godfather Part 2, 1974. Directed by Francis Ford Coppola, De Niro played the young Vito Corleone earning him his first Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Number 2. Taxi Driver, 1976. Are you talking? Are you talking to me? Well, I'm the only one here. Directed by Martin Scorsese, the Nero Portria train vehicle, a distributed taxi driver navigating the city under valley of New York City. The film is considered a class and earned the Nero as Academy Award nomination. Number 3. Ranging Bull, 1980. Oh, kill people, kill Vicky, kill Salvi, kill Tommy Como, kill me. Directed by Martin Scorsese, De Niro delivered a transformative performances as boxer Jake Lamout. He gained significant weight and trained intensively for the role, earning him an Academy Award for the Best Actor. Number four, Good Feelers, 1990. <laughs> Directed by Martin Scorsese, De Niro played Jimmy Conway, Shesh and Drum Momster in the iconic crime film. Godfellas is a widely regarded as one of the greatest film ever made. Number 5 Hit 1995 Directed by Michael Mann, De Niro starred alongside A.I. Pacino as a professional thief in the crime thriller that has become a classic of the genre. Number 6 Casino 1995 I had one of the biggest casinos in Las Vegas to run. Directed by Martin Scorsese, the Nero Portia Sam A. Lotsin, a casino executive with ties to organized crime. His performance showcased his ability to embody complex characters. Number 7 The Deer Hunter 1978 Directed by Michael Camillo, the Nero play one of the group of friends who endure the physical and emotional toll of the Vietnam War. The film won several Academy Awards, including Best Picture. Number 8. Once Upon a Time in America, 1984. Directed by Sergio Leone, the Nero start in this epic crime drama spanning several decades. The the film has gained a cult following and is considered a masterpiece. Number 9. The Untouchable 1987. You just joined the Treasury Department, son. Everybody knows what the book is. Direct Brian D. Palma, the Nero play the notorious A. L. Capney in the crime drama. His performance showcases his ability to portray a larger than life character. Number 10. Silver Leaning Playbook 2012. But for the last couple months, I just wasn't into sex at all. Directed by David or Russ, De Niro play a supporting role as Pat Solitano Sr. earning him an Academy Award nomination. The film was both a critical and commercial success. This film represents some of the Robert De Niro's most acclaimed and widely recognized work contributing to his status as one of the most respected actors in the history of cinema. Guys, thank you for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to press the bell icon notification. We will meet you again and soon.